Radio Purple Stars, we have readings from Max and Daniel to both our writers of the week. We also have an interview with three footballing stars of the future from Liverpool Football Club's Academy. In addition, we have an interview about online safety from our digital leaders. And finally, we meet up with Miss Robinson, who told us about the exciting times with our choir. Character description of the lonely beast. Walking along the grey rocky path, laden with rocks and pebbles, the beast stomped through different lands to reach his destination. As he was walking along the path, his razor sharp claws were swinging from side to side. His eyes looked like fire that was as hot as the sun. The beast was as tall as a twisted old oak tree. He was walking slow, but he was taking huge footsteps. His fur was very spiky like knives and as black as the night sky. His feet were long and wide. You couldn't see any expression on his face, but I think he might be sad because he had been walking for a long time and all alone. Today at Radio Perp Stars, we are so excited to be joined by Liam Coyle, Ryan Brewster and Jan Zanza from Liverpool Football Club's Academy. Hello. Hello. If you could meet any footballer, who would it be and why? Um, if I could meet any footballer, I think it would be Thierry Henry because that's my idol and I've been looking up to him ever since I was a little baby, so I'd lo- love to meet him. What's the worst thing about training? Um, the worst thing about training is probably the running that we have to do after training sometimes. Like It's hard, it's very hard work and puts your body to the limit. So, yeah. Do you do any other sports than football? Um, not at the moment, no, but when I was younger I used to do swimming, but I've stopped since I've moved to Liverpool. Do you play FIFA and if so, who's your favourite team? Yeah, I do play FIFA. The team I love to use is Borussia Dortmund because I just play the ball over the top for Bamiyang and he just scores all my goals. Thank you all for coming. We wish you well in your career and look forward to seeing you playing at Anfield. Thank Thank you. you. Today we are pleased to be joined by Caitlin, Isabel and Sophie. who are digital leaders in our school. Hiya. So Caitlin, can you tell me about your role as a digital leader? As a digital leader, I'm responsible for helping others in developing their computing skills, especially on the mini iPads. Most of me teach the younger children in year three. Isabel, what is the most rewarding aspect of your job? Seeing the children learn new skills on their iPads. Sophie, what do you find the most challenging? The most challenging can also be the most rewarding, as sometimes it's difficult for some of the children to understand the app we are teaching them to use. Isabel, I believe you give online safety advice to the children. Can you explain what you do? At the start of each lesson, we teach the children how to use the technology responsibly and also safely. What are your top five tips to ensure we can stay safe online? To be smart on the internet, I would say. S is for safe. Do not give out your personal information that includes your email address, phone number and password. M is for meeting. Do not meet anyone who has contacted you online. If someone does contact you, tell your parents. A is for accepting. Do not accept any emails, messages or open files if you don't know where they are from. They may contain a virus. R is for reliable. Someone might lie to you about who they are or lie about the information online. Always check your information with other websites or a trusted adult. T is for tell. 
Always tell your parent, carer or a trusted adult if something on the internet makes you feel uncomfortable or worried or if someone is being bullied online. Are there any useful websites where we can find out more information about online safety? To be smart on the internet, you can log on to www.kidsmart.org.uk or visit our school's website www.ncps.co.uk where you, this is, there is lots of great information and tips to help you. We hope you have learned some new things about online safety from our brilliant digital leaders. The internet can be very fun, but remember to stay safe! written from Liam to his parents from space. Hi mum, hi dad. I know this is sudden, but I have a confession to make. When I said I was going to the Lake District, where I'm more sort of in space, around 2,000 miles above the Earth's surface. So, the infinite possibility, the rocket I'm in now, was orbiting the Earth when suddenly we spun out of orbit. Eventually, the Earth vanished deep into the vacuum of space. I know this is more about me, but is everything okay back on Earth? As we drift out into the endless void, I think, what's out there? There are five of us on board, and I'm the only one awake. I guess it's my own fault for lying about my age. I said I was 30, but I'm really more of like 12. I hope I'm back soon. I'm sorry. Love, your son. There we are pleased to be joined by Miss Robinson. Could you tell us about the Northwood Choir? Hi, hi Caitlin and Dom. Um, yes, uh, the Northwood Choir, we set it up last year. Uh, the songs we sing are really contemporary, like uh, Taylor Swift, Jessie J, Anna Kendrick. Uh, but it's not just a choir that sings the songs, we harmonise as well and we have actions to the songs too. Um, the choir actually performed for their parents at the Year 4 Assembly and the feedback from that was really great from both the parents and the children. That sounds fantastic. Can you tell us about the Young Voices Project? Oh yeah, we're really excited about this. We've had a fantastic opportunity where the Northwood Choir are going to sing at the world famous MEN Arena next Friday um, and that's in Manchester. So there'll be about 10,000 children there from various schools and we'll all be singing the same 12 songs we've been learning. Uh, we actually had a little rehearsal down at Appleby Court uh, recently and that also went down really well. Well, let's have a sneak peek at some of the songs. <laughs> And we wish you and the choir all the best. Oh, thank you very much for having me on Radio Purple Stars. It's been a pleasure. We hope you have enjoyed listening to our radio show. If you would like to contribute to the show, please contact a member of the Radio Purple Stars team. Stay tuned for more amazing shows in the future. <laughs>